Welcome to the Olympus Report, demigods, monsters, and gods alike. Let's recap some of the more interesting trips to the infirmary with Camp Half-Blood Incident Reports. Campers, wearing the right armor and using the correct equipment is so important to keeping you safe. So if you're having any issues with your own, talk to your head counselor so things like this don't end up happening. Name Ari, cabin 22, date 09-16-23, time afternoon. Details of incident, my helmet was too small. I got it on, but I can't get it off. Help! In the future, make sure to get fitted properly so we can avoid situations like this. Let's just say the camp kitchen is completely out of butter. Also campers, be careful where you're leaving your belongings. Hey Max, cabin 20, date 09, 17, 23, time noon, details of incident. Cabin mate left his crystal ball uncovered during training and set the cabin on fire. Thank you to cabin 9 for getting the fire under control and put out. Thankfully this was just a normal one and not a magical fire. Those things are the worst. Campers, if you haven't reached level three in your Pegasi riding classes yet, all flying should be done over the lake. Name Cyrus, cabin 12, date 09, 18, 23. Time, 4.30, details of incident. Jousting should not be done on Pegasi 20 feet above the ground. Next time, if you're not gonna fly over the lake, at least try to stay a bit lower. Wait a second. We don't joust on our Pegasi here at camp. Uh, I'll let Chiron handle that one. Anyway, moving on to another terrifying fall. Name Oliver, Kevin 13, date 09, 1923. Time, morning. Details of incident. Got a bit too excited about completing the new and improved climbing wall. I slipped off the top. You gotta be careful with that slime now. I suggest shoes that have grippy soles. But that brings us to the end of another week of incidents. Thank you Half-Bloods for tuning in. But until next time, I'm signing off. So please always remember to stay safe.